Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Prospect Central. My name is Chris Robbins, and today I'm going to be joining you guys in watching one of my early favorite prospects in this 2019 draft class, Deontay Johnson. So, welcome back officially for the 2019 draft season. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Uh, it's now January 15th. Declaration Day was yesterday. Uh, so hopefully you guys all had a great football season. And for those of you guys who still have teams left, well, best of luck to you guys. Uh, but for the rest of us, the other 28 teams, uh, well, yeah, 28, because we're still in conference championship time at, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, we still have some draft work to do and get started on already. Uh, so... With that, uh, I'm going to be trying to take a look at some of these receivers this year uh, and, and kind of try and look at the other side uh, of the football. Uh, I know that I've been really going on the corners. I did a lot of the corners uh, last year in September prior to preseason. Uh, took a look at some of those guys. So if you guys missed out on those, I think we did like Byron Murphy, Grady Williams, DeAndre Baker, uh, Julian Love, I think was one of them too. So uh, Trayvon Mullen. There might have been a couple others, but definitely feel free to check those out. Uh, but for now, we're going to be looking at the other side of the football and taking a look at Deontay Johnson. Uh, so he is a junior who is officially declared from Toledo, a MAT school. Uh, and I was actually going through some of these MAC receivers, and I think you guys would be pretty surprised with how many good receivers have come out of the MAC. Obviously, Corey Davis is still very early on in his NFL career. Uh, Kenny Galladay is still pretty fairly early on in his NFL career, for those of you guys who followed me from Lions fandom. Uh, he was from Northern Illinois. And uh, obviously you have like the bigger names, like the Randy Mosses of the world and uh, Antonio Brown and all that. So uh, a lot of really good receivers coming out of the MAC, and he could be the next one. So with that said, he is listed at 5'10", 185. Uh, we'll obviously get those measurements at the Combine in Indianapolis. So, uh, we'll see what he officially comes in at, probably around that size. Uh, so, you know, for those of you guys who use this database, there's already five games to tape up, including three from this past season. Of course, 2018 is the most recent set of games uh, that we have to watch, all of them, except for the championship playoff games. A couple other bowls I think we're technically playing in 2019 as well. Uh, so, uh, we're going to be watching 2018 tape on these guys. And uh, we're going to start off with the Miami game. Uh, I believe he matches up with Michael Jackson a couple times in this. And, uh, yeah, there was, I was watching this the other day, and I did a thread on this on Twitter. For those of you guys who don't follow, follow my Twitter account, it's uh, at C underscore Robbins underscore. Uh, and I do a lot of threads. I've been doing a lot of threads, actually, too, because uh, they're a lot easier to do, just screen recording everything else and share, uh, rather than make a video. So for those of you guys who have seen those, uh, you might already be familiar with a little bit of this. Uh, but for those of you guys who aren't, uh, this is definitely someone worth watching. So I'm going to take you guys through this. And uh, let's turn this to, of course, our half speed. Get us a little bit more into the techniques and stuff here. So here he is lined up at the top of the screen. Ah, run play, of course. That's kind of anticlimactic. Alright, bottom of the screen here. And nice inside release. I like how he wins inside. And then he does a nice shot of managing to avoid that corner on the inside here. Did it freeze? Oh, nope, slowed down, but it wasn't to him anyway. He is number three, in case I do miss him somehow, uh, or he's not labeled. Bottom of the screen here. Again, nice job just getting off the line, and then he wins to the outside here. Targets him down the field on this streak. Nice little bit of separation, has the corner's back turned. Gets his eyes around to strike the football, of course, he's overthrown. 
to Leo, especially, I will say with Logan Woodside, uh, he was much better than this quarterback, so you will see a big difference, especially if you look at his statistical output. Uh, his 2017 season was much better on paper than 2018. Uh, now that says more about what he was able to do in 2017. I think he had like 18 touchdowns. And it's like It was absolutely insane what he was able to do statistically in 2017. Uh, so, uh, But this year, he still makes some nice plays. And you guys will see that throughout the course of this. Uh, but yeah, I'll take you through his 17 stuff as well. Run play. Unfortunately, for a lot of these running plays, we won't be able to see his blocking. Uh, but if we are able to on some top of the screen here, I will take you guys through that. Boom! I love this play. So, here we go. Uh, he's going to start off at the line, of course. Now, boom! The corner here makes a really aggressive first move off the jump. And what I really like about what Jonathan does here is he just completely breaks free of that. And then he attacks this area of the boundary here. So he just wins, wins off the release. And unfortunately, the QB doesn't see that. And he throws it the opposite direction. But he had a clean, clean shot deep. Like, I'll go back a couple of seconds and you guys can see just how... I mean, there's literally no one in this vicinity. Like, maybe this guy makes a play down here, but that's a touchdown if he sees that and hits the throw. So I really like, and you'll see this a lot throughout this breakdown, Deontay Johnson is just excellent release off the snap. Does the same thing there, just tries to create a little bit of separation off the snap. Here at the bottom, nice inside release off the line, and is able to create toward the end there a little bit of separation on the corner. Find the screen again, and again, he just tries to work through that press. A lot of run plays early on in this. I forgot there were so many running plays to start this off. Okay, bottom of the screen here again. Screen play. Now, one thing that is a little bit unnoticed here, I'm going to try and point out, is watch his movement here. He attacks down the field. He takes the first step. Actually, a couple. And then he gets a nice foot in the dirt right there to change direction. That is very impressive. Uh... And then changing direction here. I'll, I'll play it again. One, two, bam! He just cuts back. And it has this corner completely sold, which creates so much more space for him. And he's able to get just that much more space uh, to get that extra rack yardage. It's really subtle detail, uh, but his footwork is extraordinary. And you'll see that in his route running as well as we go through this. This takes the open space off the snap. And of course, check down on second and five. I think Matt tries to do a little too much on that play. Inside here. And again, just wants to the outside. And he That's one thing I'm going to point out now while we're showing the running quarterback. Uh, I like that he wins both inside and out. Uh, and he does a great job of utilizing both his own and his corner's uh, leverages throughout that process. Blocking here a little bit. And again, just nice outside release there. Does a great job of getting off the line and breaking that press. And nice little block there. Well, shove, rather, I guess. Tries to wing outside here. And he just really does a nice job of fighting through this contact.
here. Nice inside cut. He kind of just sticks there. I like how he's trying to get open at the end here a little bit. Kind of. It was more so the underneath option for the QB. Back outside. Blocking. And just now keeping his hits on the guy staying engaged. I'm with the screen here. Nice quickness off the snap and he got an excellent job of beating the press. This time the quarterback sees it. Hicks him, and just an excellent sideline catch. Now, that was, oh, also, yes, Jackson is 28, so that was against Michael Jackson. Now, might see a bit of a better view of it from here. Nice shot with the quarterback from reading the whole field there, too, though. But what I like is how he's able to create, this is Michael Jackson, a little bit of separation on, on Jackson here. He does nice, really nice hand usage, especially look at that left arm, just trying to keep uh, Jackson's left arm away from him a little bit and at the very end because of that he's able to create separation here uh, on the boundary and he gives his quarterback just enough space to put this this ball into now another thing while I'm paused in this frame is he's definitely hands catcher which is obviously very very critical uh, in terms of drops so he does a nice job using his hands and then gets his foot down his, his other foot uh, before stepping out of bounds. But one thing I, another thing I want to point out too, and you'll see this quite a bit, is he will make an occasional one-handed catch. Uh, but the one thing that he really does, in my opinion, it's a good thing, but some people might not like this, uh, a really good job of doing, is getting both hands on the football. Now, he's not going to be that Odell Beckham type of one-handed, like, insane uh, type of wingspan guy that just snatches balls up 50-50 out of the air. He's not going to be, like, that contested, like, Calvin Johnson type guy who's going to, like, or Julio Jones and go up and snatch, like, a vertical leap, like, uh, 48 inches in the air, whatever it is. Like, he's not going to be, like, that, that go-to guy for you. In terms of that like spectacular catch ability but what he's able to do is he's able to come down with that nice possession catch and make sure that he completes the process uh, and hauls these balls in what you so here we go another play at the bottom of the screen yeah another run play blocking assignment mm. Bottom of the screen. Nice quick get off off the snap. <coughs> and of course, now is this him. Uh, Alright, bottom of the screen again here. Nice quickness off the snap. I like his initial get off move as well. Try to do a little shimmy shake. That got stuffed really quickly. Top of the screen here. And again, that, that thing with the screen I talked about earlier. Is that incomplete or fumble or... I think that was incomplete. Nice inside release here. Drag route. Keeps his eyes on the quarterback throughout the play. And then the quarterback scrambles and he's able to... well. Try and get his eyes up the field. Bottom of the screen here. Nice inside release. And it gets batted down at the line. But I will, again, point out, watch this inside release here. He's just going to do a nice job of beating Marlon Jackson, or Michael Jackson, uh, off the snap. Boom, nice quick cut inside. Completely had him beat. That was a really quick penetration there by 93. Top of the screen. And again, really nice ball get off there. Really nice job of getting jumped off the snap quick. Top of 
taking that space down the field. Bottom of the screen here, again, nice quick inside release. And then you six there in the hitch. One thing I will, of course, the quarterback is going to run on first and ten. But one thing I would like to see him be a little bit more active in doing is I want to see him extend plays a little bit better. Uh, he will come back to quarterbacks on occasion. Uh, it's just something like finding open space uh, after the route is run. Uh, something that I want to see a little bit more of. Right here again, pretty identical inside release there. Just does a nice job of beating Michael Jackson inside. I was like, it might have been an you know, inside out concept. <clears throat> Side here, blocking. Nice shot of steam, well, for a little while at least, staying engaged. Bottom of the screen here, inside release. Beautiful job. Oh, I remember this play. Yeah, the quarterback, uh, the Jackson gets his hand in there. But what you're going to see here, watch this inside release. Excellent job of swinging that hand away. And he's grabbed a little bit. But watch how he just goes up. And you'll see Jackson's able to restrict the, the movement of his left arm here. Which kind of makes him a little bit late on getting his, his hands on the ball. Uh, that was excellent coverage. But I really like how he was able to get it off that line. Uh, and tried to go for that too and get grabbed. And here he's just going to make it make the nice catch for a touchdown. I mean that's just a great job of finding space and, and finding the, the area the wide open area in the zone. Okay, nice jump off the snap. He's just gonna look here when he gets into the space and he's gonna just easily easily make the catch. Top of the screen. Nice push. Not exactly the best blocking job there. Uh, he does seem coachable though, so. Nice blocking by 71 to force him out. On the screen here, just a simple outside release, and it's almost the same play as the one he ran last time. Just an excellent job of extending his hands and getting both hands on the football. I think there's another camera shot of this too, like there was with the other one. Yeah, uh, and it's really just another down the field release. Excellent job of creating separation with that left hand. Gets both hands on the football and is able to get down the field with it. On the screen again, just oh man, what an excellent release off the line here uh, by Deontay. Excellent in outside fake gets Michael Jackson to bite, and he wins that inside release. And Jackson follows him, and man, leaving all this space open for the ring back. Great play call, but really well executed there by Johnson. Simple outside release here. Touchdown. Quarterback run. Nothing really too special. I hate these plays where there's like really on film. 
bottom of the screen. I like how he gets behind that linebacker there. Does a really nice job of just finding that area and making sure he gets in into the space. Again, nice outside fake inside release there. And boom. I, yeah, okay, I remember this play. So watch here. Obviously he gets that release. But then he's able to get so much separation on Jackson here uh, to be able to make this play. And watch this rack ability. He just completely turns around here. And it's almost like that Miles Austin catch that was popular in Dallas for a while. On that pro route on the boundary. He just takes it all the way to the end zone once he gets that safety to overcommit. Just excellent rack ability. And that's probably what the biggest thing that you're going to get from him. Uh, at the NFL level. And here's an even... Oh, that wasn't Jackson, by the way. It's the winger, too. But, again, just able to create some separation with that right hand. Actually, it's being held a little bit there. Uh, but still able to create that separation. And he gets the safety bite. Turns. Easy touchdown. It's incredible. He's running after the catch of the uh, And as I was starting to say, that's the one thing that's going to make him a day one type of impact player at the NFL level next year. Uh, is his ability to get yardage after the catch and make those plays in space, as well as his route running and release. And very, very technically sound, uh, especially considering it's a max school. You don't really expect uh, these guys to be coached at the highest level, uh, but for some reason, man, this guy is just so sound right off the, right, off the, right, right from the, the time he's going to be entering the league. Uh, it really makes him worth the investment and the ability to polish him on uh, the upside that he's going to be able to have going forward. Uh, so next, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of his 17 tape, and I'll probably show you guys the Ohio game as well. Uh, and I'll show you guys the Akron tape. I think I remember seeing this as well, which is kind of why I wanted to point this game out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to turn this to half speed like always. And this is going to be with Logan Woods' side, so we should expect to see a little bit better passing uh, on this game as well. Nice hitch route here. Going to his brother, I believe. Or maybe just the other Johnson, I'm not sure. For some reason, I think they're related. Inside here. I think we see him play a little bit more slot this year as well. Boom. Oh, that wasn't him, but terrible drop. I like how that guy found space on number four. That might be Thompson. Nice release. I like this little step he does here. His little step move. Watch that little stutter. Oh, beautiful. That was actually a pretty bad throw from one side. Top of the screen here. It's down the field for blocking. And again, you kind of see the effort. A little bit of shippiness at the end. Uh, so he should be coachable in terms of that aspect of this game. Outside release. One side finds him. And there's one of the few times where he was... That might have been why I pinpointed this game. Uh, one of the few times where he's able to make up one of those leaping type plays. That's not entirely his game, uh, but he can do it in times like this. But watch what he's going to do here. He gets inside, then get behind the corner to get that vertical leverage down the field. And just great, great throw by Woodside, to be honest. Uh, really nice shout being able to get up there. It wasn't exactly a great vertical leap or anything. I just placed himself in nice body control. Uh, probably the best way to phrase that in terms of being able to, to win that football out of the air. That whole light got destroyed. 
One thing we will notice about this tape is that it really goes off on so long, it's just not that good. Really nice bubble screen, I like how it takes that back and then moves forward to get a little bit more momentum. A little bit of yards after the catch as well, of course, screenplay. Boom, nice inside fake and wings outside. His release is incredible off the snap. It's one of the things that really drew me to him. Uh, what I'm showing him to you guys. It's just does such a nice job at the line of scrimmage of being able to beat uh, corners off the line. Inside here. And yeah, I was kind of already over by that point. Nice little hitch out there. Had the corner moving deep in his own. Bottom of the screen here. Got another little hitch route underneath. Nice catch by uh, the other Johnson. Bottom here. Got a nice little stutter. And he used that same move when he ran a route as well. Something he does is he kind of varies that off a little bit. And it helps make, from his corner's perspective at least, the run a little bit less predictable. Nice inside move again. Creates tons of separation here. And becomes the outlet for his QB. Tries to get something after the catch. They called his knee down, unfortunately. Uh, but he had a ton of space to work uh, if, he wasn't, if he didn't slip there. But I mean, to be fair, that was still a really nice play on his part. And excellent job of creating separation. And again, here, just a very simple outside release. But he does such a nice job of getting this so smooth. This corner is coming off on a blitz, and he just simply avoids the guy. Oof, got by the tight end. Michael Roberts replacement. Here, off the screen again. Inside the slide is the Y, I believe. Just working that intermediate level of the field. Uh, again, just one of those guys who's able to attack all three levels. We've seen him wing on drags and slants, we've seen him wing on verticals, we've seen him. Uh, run those intermediate routes as well. He can tag all three levels of the defense. Nice inside release. Flicks the corners. And then just an excellent job of getting that space in the zone. I'm going to see if I can find a frame of it for you guys and see if I can pause it there. But first, he just gets, I really like how he has this attack mentality off the line. Does a really nice job of taking that space for off the snap. Then here, in this particular frame, these two corners give him just enough space to split them. So he does just that, he splits these corners. And then BAM! Splits the safety in the corner, I believe, over the top. And he just sticks right in that space. Makes the guy coming across miss with momentum and picks up some yak yardage. Just an all around fantastic play and his ability to recognize and be aware of where he is on the field, his vision and space. He almost kind of reminds me in a lot of ways of Golden Tate. Uh, just his ability to make plays after the catch and extend plays uh, beyond where a normal receiver would be able to go. Freeman Johnson here. And this is that last play, it's just the other view. And he just is able to completely split the... I don't exactly call that triple coverage, but... I mean, three guys there. Kind of tries to sell a little bit of a route release there, but... Touchdown the opposite side on the wrong game.
here again. Nice job of just attacking that space off the snap, and then he comes across. And takes that space in the middle of the field. Bottom of the screen here. And like some sort of vertical stem. Top here. Gets down. Makes the block kind of. Well, yeah, he takes him out of the play. I'd say that's a success. Here he is in the slot again. Tons of open space. They actually see aggressive. Release off the snap, and yeah, of course it's a run play. Slot here, and again, just, oh, look at how he's able to sell that screen pass. Watching here in the slot, he attacks us upfield, right? So what you see is because he's going downfield, this corner moves down the field with him, and look at how much space because of that he's able to create off of that step, it's that false step. It is incredible. And next, what? One, two, three, four. Next five plus, assuming he can come back here, six yards of space that he is able to create just from one simple false step on a screen route. That is incredible on his part. And yeah, there's probably a better picture. One, two, three, four, five, plus six yards of space. And because of that, he is able to get behind of his blockers as well. So we're seeing these release from these blockers. And look at how many guys to uh, Akron overcommits to that. And what happens? Because he takes that one false step, this corner is caught off guard. It's blocked by the play. Easy rack yardage. Of course he fumbles, but that ends up going out of bounds. And, uh... Just an absolutely incredible false step there. Uh, gets him so much yardage after the catch. Boom! Just, oh, he had that corner completely destroyed. Nice play by 40 to knock that out. Yeah, boss security. I didn't think that was in the wrong hand, was it? Yeah, I can probably could have switched that. Either way, it was vulnerable, going to be vulnerable either way. Again, just a nice little hop step release there. Effort in the blocking. Might not be the best blocker out there, uh, but the effort is there. Slide again. A little bit of a different release move. Of course, this time again, it's also a block. And it's just staying, staying in front of his guy. And again, just the effort is there. Slide again. Excellent release outside. Beautiful job of tracking the football. Excellent back shoulder catch for the touchdown. Very effective red zone fade here. I love the red zone fade. You guys might remember that from last year. Uh, but slot receiver here. Just excellent job. I'm getting outside here. Really nice route concept, too. I really like this underneath slant. I think that's the same play the Lions ran against the Falcons uh, on the controversial Golden Tate play. Except Tate ran this route and Kenny G ran the fade. And yeah, again, just nice job. Turns his head very early on in the route, knowing it's a fade, of course. And then just an excellent job of tracking the football. We saw this on the vertical stem release earlier, also. Uh, did an excellent job checking the football. Makes the easy two in the possession catch for the touchdown, making sure he came down with that. Again, turns his head very early there. And actually, he gets this thing with one hand, but he doesn't really secure it until he gets the second. So it's really too many to grab. And he completes the process of the catch. Top of the screen here. Nice inside release, taking that open space. Top of the 
screen. Outside release, so you're probably just seeing a vertical stem of some kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just my wood side to chip in. And back in the slot here. Nice physicality and aggressiveness there on the blocking. Oh, nice broken tackle there. Slot play. Nice little starter step release. Well, actually, half step in it. And again, just nice job hustling downfield for blocking. The screen. Uh, I think he might be in the slot. No, oh, he wasn't down there. So yeah, I think that was right. Let's catch my. I believe it's a tight end. Bottom of the screen. Again, beautiful inside release. Watch how he's able to just create the separation here. Quick bam! And then he takes that nice little step and is able to create a lot of separation between him and the corner. Unfortunately, Woodside had zero time to find him, but. Bottom of the screen, nice little little fake out. Nice catch by the other Johnson for a touchdown. Dang, it's a little dominating at the half. Twenty eight to nothing to halftime. Top of the screen. Again, nice inside release, able to create that separation. Ooh, nice little stiff arm there. Lowering back. Bottom of the screen here. Nice little hop. Okay, target here. And just look at all that separation. So much space. Bottom of the screen, nice little hop. And runs that little inside slant route. Outside release. That looked like it might have been a screen of some kind. Or an RPO, maybe. I don't know exactly what that was. Top of the screen here. Up the field vertical. Again, look at oh, nice little delay there. Tons of space for him off the line. And again, you just see him take that space, even though it's a run play. Almost in. In fact, he might have even been in there. I think it was like a yard short. Yep, I think the referee got it right. Oh, they called it a touchdown. Stumbled a little bit. And again, just look at the, all the separation. Don't exactly like how he kept going backwards uh, at the end of the play. They gave him forward progress, fortunately, for him. Just so much separation from these corners. Nice little step there. Slot. Nice little block. 
And I like how he tries to keep this uh, leverage inside here with the ring back going behind him. Keeps that corner away. Uh, might be a target here. Uh, nope, that was the other Johnson. Very top of the screen here. Nice outside release on the boundary. And it's a run play again. Top of the screen. Nice little inside fake, outside release. Oof, right off the hands. Bottom here. Oh, he kind of missed the screen block. I like how aggressive he was there, though. Do really nice shot of attacking and trying to get him out of the play. Okay, aggressive off the line in the space. Toil bottom of the screen here, outside release. Oh, and again, just completely so. Oh, and he got him to jump. With that receiver six in that space, I wonder if this play turns out any differently. Oops, that might have been a bit too far backwards. Yeah, I was a bit too far back. Oh well. But what you're going to see here is you're going to see Johnson sell this up the field with the outside release and then come back. I wonder if this receiver six here at about 25. If this play turns out any different, what side's able to hit him? Because uh, Johnson totally sold that up the field. Uh, come back, and he had the, the corner moving way upfield. Slot here. Again, nice inside release. Saying that seems like every play, either inside or out. Motion man here. Shovel pass. Nice thing side cut. Picks up about eight. Nice thing side release. Side slot here again, just another nice inside release. Look at all the separation underneath here. Oh, look at how wide open he was. That's an easy touchdown. Gee, 38 to nothing. Is that near the end of the third? Oh, well, 38 to 70 at the end of the third. Top of the screen. Look at all the separation. That was him up top there. Oof, bad throw from Woodside. Right here. Okay, nice job. Inside. Underneath release here, and it's a blocking play. And again, just simply doing his thing, staying in front of the defender. Not exactly the most technically sound guy, not going to get a huge push, uh, anything along those lines, but he definitely has the upside and the ability to block. You see a little bit more of a push. Um, but again, just simply does his job and extending uh, and keeping that blocker. Or defender away from the play. Watch that one again. Top of the 
screen here. Underneath the lease takes the safety, kind of, I guess. Slide. Blocking play. I can't really see the block. Yep, okay, so it's top slot. Bottom slot here. Nice release there, great move to beat the press. Terrible drop. So there was that, and yeah, so one thing I'm going to point out uh, after that game is you guys did see him move all around the field as well, uh, which is something that really in intrigues me about him, uh, is what he's able to do all over the field, left side slot, right side slot, left side, outside, right side, outside, top, bottom, all over the place, motion man. Uh, he's used in all different ways in the offense, and uh, his route tree, I, although we haven't seen a lot of it yet, uh, there was a lot more in some of the other games, maybe we'll see some more of it in this Ohio game. Uh, he does have a really expansive route tree, and I remember there was one play in particular, I think it might have been on this year's tape, where he just has this really nice double move. Uh, and he's able to create so much separation and break, it's actually really, really impressive, but... Uh, so yeah, he's an extremely uh, versatile player in terms of how he's able to fit. Uh, and even simply, Lions fans will know how about this, in terms of being able to adjust to defense's weaknesses uh, and be able to play a different game each week. Uh, one week you're calling all vertical shots, able to, to stretch the field with them. Uh, and use some on vertical stems. The next week you're able to get those underneath, those slants, those screens, that rack ability. The next week you might want to have a little bit weaker linebacker crew, so you're probably looking more to expose that intermediate level of the field, and the, maybe those safeties. Uh, so, I want to get on more of those intermediate routes, those ends, those curls, those mid curls. One week you're maybe calling more post shots to expose those that intermediate level against cover 2D. So the way that you're able to use him depending on from a week to week variant uh, is something that's really going to help him out uh, in achieving success at the next level as well. Oops. Right there. Like this. Oops. Yep. Subtitles. Of course it doesn't matter if it's a sack anyway. Bottom of the screen here. Nice little hitch route. There we go. Bottom of the screen. Looks like this might be a target. It is. And again, look at all this space. I mean, I, f I feel like I'm watching a small school Hollywood Brown when I see this. Or it's almost like I'm watching like old Antonio Brown highlights when he was essential. Like, this is <laughs> five yards away, five yards, well, that's probably, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, seven, almost eight yards away. I, what, five, at least five yards, probably around five yards, five, 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 five. There's no one in this circle of the singing. Remote the singing. That's just so, so good at finding and staying in and taking open space. Uh, and getting his ball in hand, getting the ball into his hand uh, in open space is <laughs> incredibly beneficial for the CEO offense. A big reason why they found so much success uh, in 2017. Nice catch by the other Johnson there. Javante, I believe it's his name. Top of the screen here, another curl. Very top of the screen. 
just outside numbers. Motion here. Some cover just in time. Nice hands catch. Doesn't able to make a miss, but we've seen him do that plenty of times. And again, still able to pick up the third down, move the chains. Another thing too that I'm going to point out before I uh, move on to the next play here is see where this first down marker is. It's at the 28, and look at where he runs his route, the 26. Very nice situational awareness on third and 10 to make sure that he runs that route behind the first down marker. Live the screen here. Nice comeback. That's a fumble. On the screen here. Top here. Going okay, open space. Nice inside release. Woodside able to find him. Oh, what a play. So uh, Matt Wellman actually did a video on this. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, go check that one out. But whoops. What you're going to see here is he's going to end up slipping. So he gets that beautiful inside release here right off the snap. I mean, let's just not forget about that. That's probably the best part of this play. In terms of the beginning of the technical aspect. So boom, just nice job of getting him to bite outside. But watch here, at the top of his route, he's going to cut, change direction so quickly that he actually slips a little bit. And Matt Walvin goes into a lot more detail on this, but uh, basically, so you see his hand here is on the ground, and he almost does like a balance check of sorts. Uh, and what that does is it enables him to keep his eyes up, to look for the football and keep tracking the ball in the air. And he's able to use that, and obviously he's still late and it's a body catch. Uh, but if he isn't able to stay up, basically, uh, he's not able to complete that catch at all, let alone uh, a body catch. But because he's able to get right back up uh, so quickly because of that hand uh, being on the ground, it's a runner's technique, uh, he's able to make that catch. He's on top of the screen here, if I remember right. Find the screen here. Top of the screen on this one. Run play. Bottom of the screen on this one. Looks like he might be playing in motion. I 
nice job getting open there by 84. Might be the very top here. First sound of one play. Bottom of the screen here. Great job of attacking that space off the line. Uh, that didn't hit the ground, that was a nice catch. Top of the screen. Shadow sting in front of his blocker. Top of the screen once again. Bottom of the screen this time. Oh, and not about that. The bottom of the screen here once again. Once again, the bottom of the screen. Run play. Nice job of keeping his body centered. Almost ran that almost in like a straight. Outside release on the down the field stem. And you see, like, he hasn't been targeted in a while, and it's probably part of the reason why it's still 7 to nothing at this point. In fact, I believe this is the second game that they lost this season. Nice little cup block there. I just recovered by the quarter to get up from that so quickly, but... Regardless, still a very efficient, effective cup block there by Deontay. Able to take the corner out of that play for the period of time. Nice shot of getting in that space there. You can kind of see it at the top of the screen. Bottom of the screen this time. Looks like it's all the time in the world. Who's starting to come back across? I don't know why you... That was weird, but okay. I'm going to show you off the bottom of the screen there. That was actually more of a jump than a release, but... Bottom of the screen this time. Nice inside and just able to separate himself from the corner. And he's able to give his running back a little bit more yardage. Again, not exactly the best block ever, but uh, he was able to extend up a little bit for his running, for the runner on play. Every chance in there. Bottom of the screen, I'm guessing. Alright, looks like this is a target. That, yep, down the field, vertical seam, stem. An excellent job of coming down with the football. I believe they're showing other uh, team range over. And I believe that flag is actually on the defensive player for passing appearance. Yeah, it is. But watch here, he's just, he's able to separate, 
and again, his hand usage at the stem of the route. He's not going to be the most physical guy in terms of bodying guys out. And again, as I talked about earlier, those vertical 50-50s and those shimp ball situations. He's not exactly a contested catch sort of guy, but every once in a while, he'll make that play. And here, yeah, there's the, penalty, the shot of the penalty. The corner's trying to turn him and his head isn't turned. Uh, but again, I want to focus on another thing here. This is ball tracking. You see the head up looking for the football, which really helps him out in this situation. Uh, and actually, it really does cut to a nice job of getting that left hand on the football. He struggles around for a minute, and he, once he gets that second hand on the ball is when he's able to uh, make that play. So, not exactly a contested catch sort of guy, not exactly a spec catch sort of guy. It's not entirely his style, you get, again, see kind of the viewpoint. But he just positions himself in a way to where he can make the best play on football for him. And he, he this is something that we talk about in Detroit a lot with Kenny Galladay. Uh, and what he needs to improve on the most is he really knows himself and his skill set. Uh, and he does a really nice job of knowing, okay, so I'm not going to be able to win the 50-50 ball over a 6-foot corner. Or a 6-foot-3 guy in the case of Kevin King, who we might see in the trade. Or Josh Jackson. Or, yeah, Josh Jackson. Uh, he's going to be that guy. When he, sometimes he might not be able to beat the more elusive slot corners. He might be able to move around. But he has this kind of unique skill set where his skill set doesn't necessarily fit his body. And I, I kind of want to compare him to Antonio Brown, but I feel like that would be more of a Hollywood Brown comparison. Uh, I almost want to call him an Odell Beckham type without the spectacular catchability. Uh, and just the way that he's able to beat guys technically with his release, with his routes, with his hands catching, uh, and plays like that. And it's really a unique skill set, and that's what attracts me to him so much. Uh, especially as a smaller school sleeper value type of guy. Oh, nice count by Woodside. Great jump off the snap there from Deontay to recognize that too. And just take that release off the field. Find the screen here. Nice move by the running back to get into that middle of the field seam space. Bottom of the screen on this one. And just tag side space. So giving up a lot of cushion off the line. And you will see teams try and do that at the next level, which is something that, and uh, that's how he was able to be accurate, right? Is because he had that such that clean release off the line. That he was able to just blow past those corners and make the make the plays down the field. And we saw that a lot in his first game too, versus Michael Jackson. This game, they're giving him those first ten yards. So you're probably gonna want to use him a little bit more on those slant routes, those vertical stems, maybe if he's able to outrun some guys and attack that middle of the field. Uh, maybe a deep end or something along those lines, a post if it's not cover one. Or cover three. And yeah, again, you see right there they call that hitch. So And that just goes back to the point I was making earlier a little bit about his week to week versatility and his schematic uh, versatility and how you're gonna be able to use him on a week to week play by play basis. Cause one week he'll be able to beat that oh nice catch there. Oh, another fumble. Ball security issue. Something to note. Uh, but anyway, I got was going back to seeing positive. Uh, his week to week in scheme versatility is going to be very, very helpful for him. Uh, one week he's going to be able to beat guys off press. The next week he's going to be able to beat the cover one with a uh, vertical seam down the middle or down the outside boundary of the field. The next week he's going to be able to beat a cover two with a post, etc. Nice comeback route here. Nice shot with the corner. Do not overcommit there though. And he kind of just gets his hand in there. 
Chubby is actually a bad ball security, though. Looked like he had that tight. Yeah, I mean, kind of hard that soon after the catch to switch hands, but I don't think that switching hands might have helped him. That ball is high underneath the helmet. Tight. I mean, kind of difficult to see from that particular angle, but looked like he did his best to keep that secure. Just a nice strip by the corner to knock that up. I think they showed the front side view of this, yeah. Let's see if this changes anything. Okay, so nice hands catch. Gets both hands on it. As he turns up the field, he brings it in. I mean, you guys can form your own opinions on that. But, I mean, to me, that looks fairly secure. Until the corner comes in and just completely strips it out. Honestly, I would have considered calling that incomplete if turning up the field wasn't a football move. Top of the screen. Oh, what's that? Almost a voice of sack. Again, top of the screen. Nice little block there. Doesn't really do too much in the green machine, but efforts there. Top of the screen again. Uh, pretty bad missed throw by Woodside. But because that was a target, I will again show you guys. Look at where he is relative to these three defenders. He's completely in space. And you know what? If Woodside hits that, the only guy that's probably able to catch him is this dude here. Coming down. I think he has all those three guys in the middle beat. Okay, nice little hitch route. And that's just, I mean, that's a great game playing by Toledo. And great play call by the offensive coordinator or head coach who was calling plays there. And you see them give him 10 yard cushion. What do they do? They just call a simple hitch route. Easy. Let him beat the guy in space. Easy first down. And <laughs> nothing you're going to do about that as a, as a corner. So what do they do? They put the guy on him. Oh, they actually sent a blitz here. Even more aggressive than they probably should have been. Which side sees the blitz? Avoids it. And then, of course, reads the guy downfield. Nice hands catch in the air by Deontay to go up and get that ball. So they go back to the cover defense again. Nice job of catching his balance. And just incomplete. Oh, that was late. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a deserved flag. Oh, top of the screen. Very top. Blocking play. Again, once again at the top. Nice outside cut. Kind of got cut off there. Maybe they'll show it over the view. But that was a beautiful C route there. By Deontay. Kind of when they show it from the back angle. They're not going to. Darn. Alright, well, anyway, um, you guys may be able to see part of this if I can pause in the right spot. But you're going to see him cut out here first. Then right here, he kind of does a little fake hesitation, and then it kind of gets cut off a little bit. But you just barely get to see the start of his out cut here. And you guys can see the result of it right here and the amount of separation it creates on this corner. 
Easy first down. Downfield vertical stem outside. Move. Unable to get back to the line. Oh man, this blocking. Oh, what a sack of vision by Woodside. Nice play by Logan to be able to pick up two or three out of that. Slot receiver here, up top. And again, just a simple nice inside cut release. Able to create the separation needed, and now it's just all about rackability. Unfortunately, it gets slowed down. Yeah, I was right, this is the other game that they lost. Going for it on fourth down, I like this. Nice, beautiful underneath. Oh, bad throw. But right idea, he had the right target based on how much separation Deontay has. That guy's pretty well covered by this dude. And <laughs> I mean, not really much to say about that separation there. screen here. Nice little hitch shot against the cushion on second year incredibly long. Slot receiver here again tons of space on third and twenty-one. Oops I check down. Nice play by the running back to pick up at least ten. Fifteen. Slot receiver here. Outside cut. Looked like a rounded cut. I think they did that on purpose. Supposed to be a round cut by design. Top of the screen. Oh, shot by the other Johnson. Very top of the screen here on the boundary. And sing it up anyway. In the slot this time. And yeah, fourth and one. So I'll take you guys through one more uh, here. Uh, try Central Michigan. I shall probably go through both. Oh, yeah, this is only three and a half. So I'll take you guys through this one at full speed. I will this is his only like place that he's active on or whatever. Obviously this will look much faster. Nice little screen catch there. You guys see look at the make a miss ability. Uh running after catch. Here's the other perspective. Obviously this looks a lot faster after I just show you guys half speed, but I'm in the screen here. Nice cut. Oh, he tripped. And that was a terrible throw, first off. How far away was that throw, though? 20 yards? <laughs> but, 
Yeah, he starts here at about the 40 and ends up landing at like the 20, so yeah, like 20 yards. Uh, but what I'm, I'm going to show you guys on this play. Oops, so shell. Let's try here. Boom. Uh, you saw it at about the 45. I'll back up another two seconds and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Watch at the 45 yard line what he does here. Bam. Nice outside step. And bam, just nice direct cut, very efficient transition uh, to the outside there. Slot receiver, again, beautiful cut outside. So efficient in his movement. Top of the screen blocking here. Top of the screen blocking. Nice block. Bottom of the screen. Nice inside cut. Top of the screen. Another hitch route with the cushion. That was a terrible decision by Peters. Inside slot receiver there. Top of the screen. Nice outside release on the fade route. Very top of the screen. Hitch against the cushion. Nice play there by the other Johnson. Bottom of the screen here. This is not a one and a half, is it? No, okay. It just seems super fast coming coming out of half speed. <laughs> Top of the screen here. New shot keeping himself centered in front of the blocker. Getting great down the field release. Excellent cut. And you guys will see much better shot of it on this play. Watch here just how smooth, efficient that cut is. It really is excellent, excellent technique. Bottom of the screen, vertical step. Up here, nice inside release. Again, top of the screen. Nice little hesitation to beat the press. Great coverage by the corner, though, or stick with them. Top of the screen. Again, great outside release, and he slipped again. I believe he's the inside, inside slot. Oh, bad drop by the other Johnson. Bottom of the screen, nice inside out cut. Oh, that was a bad drop. I don't remember seeing that play before. Oh, yeah, Lion Slate got distracted. Fair enough. Alrighty, and then we have one more in Fresno. Okay, so top of the screen here. Nice little hit shot against the cushion. Oh, that was a late hit. Slot receiver here. Top of the screen this time. Nice inside release on the cut. Great hands catch for the first down on third. Really nice finish route. Nice throw by the quarterback. Again, oh, there's the double move. I knew it was coming at some point. That's the play I was waiting for. Watch here, and you guys will see the other view of this, but I'm just going to point this out so you guys can see it here. In fact, actually, for this particular play, I'm going to slow it down. 
boom. He really sells the slant route here, right? Now the quarterback's staring him down. He really sells the slant route. And then I love how he does not overextend. And and uh, for those of you guys who are Michigan fans, Josh Gaddis, the new offensive coordinator, uh, is talking just talked about this in his uh, and there's a video of it on YouTube. But uh, I, I love how he doesn't overextend his cut. And what that allows him to do is it allows him to change that direction. And I, I said this about him so many times already. But he allows him to change direction so fluidly on this double move that he's able to just get, catch this cornerback basically standing still. Uh, and that gives him just that extra opportunity to make the play. So I'll show it to you guys again full. And bam, that cut. And then he does a nice job of tracking the ball in that third phase. So again, three phases of the play. The beginning, the middle, and the end of the play. I said this a lot last year. I'm going to be seeing it again a lot more this year. For receivers, that first phase is the, is the release to get off and jump off the snap, etc. There's a nice shot of taking that space off the line. The second phase is going to be your route run, which is, of course, the double move. Excellent phase. And the third phase of the play, the final ending phase, is either going to be the catch, if it's no yak potential, or the yak ability, uh, if you have the potential for that. It's not like a touchdown or red zone throw or whatever, like it is in this instance. Uh, in which case, it's just the catch for that third phase. They called him incomplete, but he got the foot down. You'll see on the replay. And again... Look at the ability, the outstretched arm, to create that separation. And that's really going to be part of the difference in how he's, able to make, how he's going to be able to make this play. And excellent hands catch, gets both hands on the football. And he gets the left or the right foot down, I believe. But yeah, it does an excellent job of getting that arm extended. And yeah, you see it there. Both the well, I think technically they're both feet are down. Oh nope. Okay. So then yeah, they must have called it a touchdown based on the last shot here. Right there. Or his right foot is down and his left foot is down. Because I know they call this a touchdown. Or they say that he dragged it or something. Or that that lane didn't bounce. I'm not sure, but regardless of the touchdown. Again, I talked about that screen pass, pass earlier, how he takes that step back. Turns back to full speed. Top of the screen here. Top of the screen here. Top of again. Nice to come back. Oh, and a nice little nice little vertical move. Nice job staying on his feet there by the other Johnson. Again, that step back move on the screen. Nice little evasion there to pick up against the yard. Beautiful release. Oh, I love that release off the route. It went a little fast, I'll slow it down. First play. Boom! Look at that attack move. Ball's barely in his quarterback's hand. He's already got a yard. Quarterback just starting his drop. He's already on the field three. Bam! Quarterback is finally standing in the pocket. He's already almost finished with his route. And the quarterback is finished there. He's turning and looking for the ball. Excellent. 48. Put it on 48. Did it? Back to full speed. Oh, they're going to show this again. Bottom here, nice inside release. Yep. 
pizza for supper? Top of the screen here. Excellent release down the field. I really like that vertical stem. He does a great job of winning that outside release on those verticals. Middle of the field. Very nice. Again, just finding open space. Unfortunately, the pressure gets home incredibly quickly. And again, you just see him. I love how he finds the space here in the middle of the field in the seam. And he just, he really is mentally aware of coverages on the field. Of course, again, they just sent this really nice gap pressure here. But you see him take the seam, right? And then when this guy comes down, he's just going to finally make that cut over the top. Of course, it doesn't really mean anything, but... Still really nice to see him be that sound. It's a offensive line, man. Oof. And again, I another thing too that I'm just not noticing the first time I watched this is I'm I'm watching this cup this combination here, right? This round combination. Yeah, this ship set. Now this it's almost like okay, yeah, that guy's going down there, that guy's going down here. But watch this underneath guy here that I believe is a tight end come underneath, right? And he does a really nice job, both of these guys do a really nice job of making sure they don't run into each other and that they stay in, I, I don't want to call them separate levels because they're not exactly different levels of the defense like this guy is, um, but different timing, I guess. And like they, they cross once, but this guy is so far out front here that he's still in the middle. And this guy, that was like a very short term interjection. interjection. Uh, so, really interesting to see. Oh, what a hit. Man. Bottom of the screen here. Excellent cut. And again, just able to create so much separation here. And watch. Oh, beautiful rounded cut. And he comes back for the football. Gets this nice job in space. Almost makes him miss. Very nice play by Deontay. And that's just the kind of thing that you're going to see from him uh, at the NFL level if he's going to make an impact. Uh, in the National Football League. It's those types of plays. The releases off the line. The, the solid, fundamental, technically sound route running. The uh, ability to create separation both with his arms and his legs. Uh, he does a great job of doing that uh, with both, all four limbs. And uh, his footwork is how and just uh, very broadly how technically sound he is. His hands, his hands catching, and, and plays like that. It's really, really fun to watch. Uh, and, and this is the kind of thing that makes me excited to get more deep into receivers this year, is uh, seeing how these guys are able to create such separation from the, the, the corners. And as I've mentioned several times already, is I've always been one of those guys that like really likes the defensive side, and watching these corners like operate and press and limit that separation and the differences in the zone and the man cover guys and the how the height affects the corners and the ability to win contested catches and guard different receivers and things like that. But it's going to be really interesting for me uh, examining the opposite side of the football this year and taking a look at it from the opposite perspective. Uh, and Deontay is one of those guys that <laughs> really uh, stood out to me in doing that so far this season. Uh, just his ability to, to, to create that separation with his route running, with his legs, with his feet, with his arms. His ability to wing in the right zone with fakes, with hands catches. It's, it's really fun to watch him work. Uh, so... Uh, with that said, uh, thank you guys all for tuning into this episode. First one of the new year. First one, I guess, of the official 2019 draft season. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out some of our ones from last year uh, to see some of those guys if you missed out on those. Some of them might be a lot looking better than others right now, at least. Uh, 
But yeah, we'll have a lot more come throughout this draft season for sure. Again, as I mentioned, I'll be trying to focus a little bit more on receivers. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but for now, uh, peace out and have a nice rest of your day.